this is phytoplankton, basically giant clouds of little tiny plants that fill the oceans. It's the bottom of the food chain, meaning that if it collapses, so too does all other marine life. It also produces about half of the oxygen in our atmosphere. So kill off the phytoplankton, and the world as we know it ends. The bad news, we're killing off the phytoplankton. Back in 2007, a study was done on the reproduction rate of phytoplankton off the Gulf of Maine. And scientists were alarmed to learn that the reproduction rate had decreased by a factor of five, as in 500%. As in the amount of phytoplankton that could be produced in a day now takes five days to produce. And now a new study out by the Bigelow Laboratory for Ocean Sciences, Sciences finds the phytoplankton reproduction has not bounced back in Maine. This is big time bad news for Maine's marine industries because the food chain that leads to every fish we eat starts with phytoplankton. No phytoplankton, no fish. Even more frightening, this phenomenon isn't exclusive to the Gulf of Maine, it's happening all over our planet. As the science journal Nature published in 2010, the world is losing 1% of its phytoplankton every single year. And in the northern hemisphere, places like Maine, We've seen a, dro a drop off of 40% since 1950 in phytoplankton. So we're not just talking about Maine fisheries getting wiped out. We're talking about fisheries around the planet. This is a catastrophic shakeup of a global food chain. And it's not just about the food we all like to eat, but we like to breathe even more. Someone can go a few days without eating, but you can only go a few minutes without breathing. And we can thank phytoplankton for giving us oxygen to, to breathe. Roughly half the world's oxygen supply comes from phytoplankton, which inhales carbon dioxide and binds the carbon and exhales oxygen. But phytoplankton are being killed off by a one, two, three punch of warmer waters, changing salinity levels, and most importantly, increasing levels of carbonic acid in the ocean, an acid formed when the ocean absorbs the carbon dioxide that we are pumping into the atmosphere when we burn coal, oil, gasoline, and natural gas. The global warming from our burning these fossil fuels is melting permafrost and ice around the Arctic Circle, exposing ancient peat bogs to the air that have been, and these things have been trapped under the ice for hundreds of thousands, in some cases, even millions of years. The peat then decomposes, releases methane, a greenhouse gas that's 25 times more potent at warming our atmosphere than carbon dioxide. A team of ecologists with the University of Alaska Fairbanks has found so far more than 150,000 of these methane leaks bubbling up into the Arctic. So to recap, humans releasing carbon into the atmosphere is causing temperatures to rise, which is causing polar ice caps to melt, which is releasing methane, which is causing temperatures to rise even faster, which is making the oceans more acidic, which is contributing to the death of phytoplankton, which on which the global food chain depends to survive, and we humans depend on to breathe. If this continues, we're looking at the end of the world as we know it in this century. And the Republicans in power and the oil barons that they're slaves to are determined to let the phytoplankton die off. Those lawmakers include people like Virginia State Delegate Chris Stoll, who stripped out the term sea level rise from a state study on climate change because he said it's a liberal code word. The oil, coal, and natural gas barons are now hiring the same phony scientists and using the same tactics that the tobacco companies used in the 1990s to deny clear scientific evidence that their products were actually killing people. The 2010 election saw over $300 million in outside corporate cash spent, a lot of which came from climate change denying oil, coal, and natural gas corporations. And every single freshman House Republican has gone on record to deny the existence of man-made global climate change. Meanwhile, phytoplankton continues to die off because global temperatures continue rising. If we haven't already hit a tipping point when it comes to climate change, then unless something is done very, very quickly, we will very soon. That's it for the big picture. Don't forget, get out there and get active. Tag, you're it. We'll see you tomorrow.